What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. B-Roll here, your favorite pro wrestling newbie. And yes, I am over here at World Championship Wreckage. You probably recognize me from either my TikTok, at Mr. B-Roll, or along with my, my good, my best, bestest friend in the whole world, XLJ, the OG, who you've also seen here on World Championship Wreckage. We do a little YouTube channel called Cole T. V, where we do tons of wrestling content and tons of other crap too so if you're not subscribed over there you should go check it out and if you're not subscribed to world championship wreckage what are you doing go ahead and subscribe go ahead and do that now i'll wait i'll wait and actually i'm going to give you time to go subscribe to cool tv and then come back to this video okay mm -hmm. okay you did it all right thank you you are awesome you are a winner remember that you are a winner all right so i'm going to be doing a little series called over here called pro wrestling newbie reacts a little backstory for me is i have not been a professional wrestling fan my entire life actually i got into it probably well we're it's it's less than two years um but over a year but less than two years um thanks to my friend xlj the og he took me to my first event instantly hooked and since then, I have met tons of other, you know, wrestling fans, mostly through uh, um, TikTok and, you know, Wrestle Talk, and, you know, have made really good friendships, like with Dead Hat. Um, so honored and privileged to be over here doing a little series over at World Championship Wreckage, and I hope you enjoy it. So without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get started um, with our very first pro wrestling newbie reacts got an exciting one we're going to be talking war games. about war games. War games. that is right we're going to be talking a little bit about some war games um, dad ha had asked me to react to the 1996 wcw fall brawl war games match which featured the nwo versus wcw all right, so the big story going into this was, um, so actually, I, I watched this literally today for the first time, okay? Did my homework a little bit. Obviously, it was Team WCW versus NWO. NWO, they were, you know, invading WCW, right? I'm sure all you wrestling fans out there know, love this, remember this. Um, but hey, cut me some slack. I'm a newbie here, okay? But basically, NWO hot like they they were red hot, right? They were the outsiders, you know. They were the NWO. They were the NWO. So it was NWO versus WCW. So you have a team of it gets announced that it's going to be a War Games match. You have the team of WCW, which features Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, and Lex Luger. And Sting. Well, the big thing was, is Sting and Luger had put aside their differences with um, the Horsemen, and you know, for the greater good of WCW. Well, supposedly, supposedly, you know, Sting turns his back on WCW. Right? That's the major story going into this and this match. Right? So. It gets announced, you have the great Michael Buffer, you know, on the, doing the introductions, you know, give you a, let's get ready to rumble, you know, explaining all the rules and everything. So, then we get into the match, okay? If it's announced, he announces also, before we say we get into the match, he announces also that the third competitor from each team will be a mystery. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get on into the match. So, oh, oh, man, see? Should've looked at my PowerPoint. Before the match starts, before we even get to Michael Buffer, let's backtrack just a little bit. We get this awesome um, backstage promo um, from uh, Ric Flair um, and Arn Anderson, and then Sting comes in, talks to them, and sa says, you know, it wasn't me, you know, blah, blah, blah. Luger, it wasn't me who attacked you in the parking lot, yada, yada, yada. Nobody, nobody believes him. Nobody believes him, right? Um, but we go on 
to the mat, right? Here's a look at the uh, War Games um, itself, you know, the steel cage, you know, the two rings. Um, we start out, we have Scott Hall um, and Arn Anderson. Scott Hall and Arn Anderson start. Um, match starts, and then we're told that there's a coin flip going on in the back. Uh, announcers tell us that NWO wins the coin flip, so they will have the one-man advantage. You know, typical War game style set time frame, and then so-and-so, another person enters. Match doesn't actually start until all competitors are in the ring. So it's a back and forth match, you know, honestly, the whole t the whole time. Um, you have clashes such as, you know, you get Hogan and Flair um, going, going, going at it. Um, lots of just, you know, little kind of uh, moments, you know, during the build um, of this match. It kind of, you know, had some ups, ups and downs, right? Um, but for the most part, you could say the action in this match was it was steady it was it was steady okay that's probably the best way to describe it honestly and then of course you know the competitors keep entering and then of course we finally get down to the final two competitors right so nwo sting comes out right well then it comes for team wcw and who comes out but another sting like what 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 i mean we literally have like the i mean this is like the spider-man meme right where like they're all, like all pointing at each other like literally it's like boom right there um so i mean and first off and foremost i have to say this before i forget the announcers on this um that called the call this match phenomenal job absolute phenomenal phenomenal job um yeah yeah i can't can't state that um enough you had um tony Schiavone, you had bobby the brain heenan and you had uh, uh dusty dusty Rhodes um on on the call and then you know they i mean they sell they sell that the fake sting, sting has got to be, you know, the real Sting. And then when the real Sting does come out um, from WCW, um, they're like, oh, no, that's look at that elevation on those splashes. It's got to be Sting. It's got to be Sting. So Sting basically comes in, kicks the freaking NWO's ass. Yeah, he basically lays them all out. Only one fighting, he lays them all out. And then what's he do? He says, deuces. You didn't believe me in the beginning? I'll see y'all later. Is that good enough for you? Is that good enough for you? Is that enough proof for you, basically, is what he, what he was saying. Um, and he's out. Um, and this would be a very key moment for Steam's um, career right here. Very very key so the match would continue nwo of course would have a one person advantage with their nwo fake sting um and ultimately they end up winning the match um they end up uh believe they make lex L max L uh, lex luger um tap out or was it flair oh gosh i'm a newbie i can't i can't remember i can't remember let's see we have the internet, children. We have the internet. Yeah. They ended up... So, they end up double-teaming Luger, and Luger has no choice but to submit... So NWO ends up picking up the win, and obviously in typical NWO fashion, the fight continues after the match, and they're just beating everybody down. Um, Randy Savage ends up coming out. Um, they end up dragging him to the ring, and um, Elizabeth ends up coming out, and they won't let her, she won't let him spray paint him, and yada, yada, yada. Um, then the giant ends up coming out and, you know, basically mayhem ensues. 
um, post press conference. This is NWO country. Um, so, I mean, overall thoughts um, with with this, though, um, I would have to say, I mean, it was a it was a solid match. It was it, it was a solid match. It's it's not great. Um, I wouldn't say that it's great, um, but it's also not not terrible. Um, but it's not one that I would want to watch all the time. But I mean, hey, you know, they told an interesting story. Um, they they took a shot with the you know fake sting. Um, I think the biggest thing that comes out of this though is that we end up getting Sting as we know him today. Um, we get the Crow Sting, you know, the darker um, character and everything, which I I think we are all super thankful. <laughs> um, super thankful um, for that because, I mean, Sting, he is, he is the icon. Um, it is what it is. Um, WCW, love it or hate it, um, they gave us they gave us some moments. Um, overall, um, if I was to give this a grade, and here at the um, Pro Wrestling uh, Newbie Reacts, we have a system here where we grade the matches or whatever it is that we watch, and what do we use? We use Shockmaster heads. If I was to give this an out of five uh, Shockmaster heads. I probably I'm gonna stick right in the middle and probably say about two and a half. Two and a half Shockmaster heads. It's good. It's not great. Does it knock your socks off? Probably not gonna want to go back and rewatch it. Um, but every now and then. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed your first ever pro wrestling newbie reacts. I'm Mr. B Roll. You can find me over on Cole TV here on YouTube as well, or on TikTok at Mr. B Roll. Make sure you give us a follow, subscribe, whatever platform um, it is, and whatever the jargon is over there. Make sure you subscribe to World Championship Wreckage, and I'll see you next time for another episode of Pro Wrestling Newbie Reacts. <laughs>